Hello and welcome back to more The Room for Old Sins, where last time we cleared out the Curiosity Room, and today we are going to be continuing on with this game for the next chapter, and the first thing we're going to do, as always, is open up this strange artifact by tapping the little button in the center and holding it. And then we're going to take the curiously engraved device found inside the artifact, then open it up further by selecting it in our inventory over here, and we're going to rotate this wheel like this until it is fully opened up. Now we're not quite done with this object just yet because you'll notice that some of the uh, some of the symbols on this side don't quite match up. And notice that they aren't they they don't they don't seem to quite fit with what's going on in the actual in, in the in the in the images surrounding. So we're going to rotate these around so that they make a little bit more sense. And then once you rotate those three pieces, it will form an engraved model roof, which as I'm sure you can uh, can guess is going to be placed in the wider dollhouse right in this section down here. Let's go ahead and place it on top like so. Then simply put on your eyepiece and zoom into the garden, a brand new area that we're going to be exploring in this game. Now, we will be back here in a little bit to explore it in full, I promise. But for now, we're not going to be here all that long. We're just going to zoom into this central area, turn the camera to the left, pick up this small piece of the pipe right here. We'll also get some story details right quick, because why not? I find Edward in Father's Curiosity Room and it is like the sun dawning. I feared he would never leave that study again. I see the pages in his hands, crumpled, torn, unmistakably mine. I try to explain, but his eyes look clean through me. I warn him, plead with him, but he is deaf to me. He says I have betrayed him. I have damned us both, destroyed his work, both our lives. I can sense it throughout him now, the wrongness, the taint I felt outside the study door. In this moment, I know my Edward is gone, and no help is ever to come. I have only one choice. Ominous as always. But that's all we needed from this area for now. We will be back here in just a moment. For now, we are going to leave the garden and return. I'm um, guessing you can guess exactly where we're going to go. We're going to return to the kitchen once again and fix the last piece of the pipe that has yet to be repaired with the pipe that we just received from the garden. Back in the kitchen, let's go ahead and turn the camera over here. Place the pipe back in the wall right over here. And then we can zoom out to the wheel and redirect the water from the right to the left because now the pipe is actually complete in this direction. And now that's done, we can go ahead and back all the way out of the kitchen and return to the garden and this time we're going to be able to explore it in just a bit more detail. Let's go ahead and zoom back in here. So, to get things started off, we're going to go ahead and zoom back into the central area, and then zoom in over to the back left, where we can pick up this metal dial. It's got to wait for it to be exposed to air, so you can actually grab it, just like that. Now let's back out and head to this uh, little central piece of in the area right over here, and place the metal dial in this slot, just like so. Now, what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to first drag this piece up onto the wheel like this, rotate it around, and then drag the bottom piece like so. Then once this face is complete, we can rotate the wheel to the left, back out, zoom in on this side of the device. I guess okay. I guess I, need, I guess I didn't need to back out, but we're, we still still want to place this uh, piece right here. Rotate the wheel around all the way so that we can uh, drag this piece up to match it. And then if we rotate it around again, we will see that both faces are upright. Now for the final one, we are going to want to rotate this wheel so that the face is completely upside down. Then I don't know why I keep zooming out. Then drag the camera over here. Place this one, or drag this piece up, rotate it around once again, and then drag the bottom piece to complete the picture, and that will be this puzzle solved. Okay, so there's a couple symbols we can see here. We can see a crescent moon, we can see a full circle, and we can see a bit more, and we can see a half moon symbol. But we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to switch these symbols around because as you can see, they don't quite match the symbols that are underneath them. So we're gonna need to. We're going to need to switch them around a little bit, so we're, uh, the way we're going to do that is we can control we can control the entire mechanism by simply uh, rotating the wheel in the center, which will cause all three of these pillars to slide up and down, which will allow us to slide this uh, these pieces over, uh, along them just like so, as we please. So the goal here is going to first, we're going to start at this corner and, get, and then get the crescent moon all the way over on this side, right here, then rotate the wheel so that this is all the way up to the top, drag the circle down, 
and then uh, bring this all the way down to the bottom so we can get the circle off, hide it over here, and then get the crescent moon up into position so that we can drag it up to the top, just like so. Next, let's go ahead and drag this circle all the way to the right-hand side. What we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to uh, slide the circle onto this right here, then drag this all the way up. Uh, I said drag it all the way up. Get the half moon symbol onto this as we drag the circle off of it and then bring this all the way down to the bottom so we can slide it all the way back around to where we started if my mouse will cooperate with me thank you very much and then we just need to bring this back up to where we found the crescent moon when we first started this puzzle and that will be the puzzle solved And as our reward, we can take a piece of intricate ironwork. Believe it or not, we are almost done with this chapter. That was really the last uh, ch proper challenging puzzle that we are going to be solving today for this chapter. So now all we have to do is only back all the way out of the garden. Again, we will be back here later uh, to finish things off. But for now, all we have to do is simply place this piece of intricate ironwork on the side of the maritime room, like so. Then put your eyepiece back on and return to the kitchen one last time so we can finish off our adventures in this room. Really all we have to do is flip one lever and then rotate a little wheel around and that will be this chapter complete. So let's go ahead and flip this up to let the ball drop and start rolling down. Then just rotate this around to reveal our strange artifact for this chapter. Kitchen complete. The valves to the heart of this house are now blocked, yet still it breathes. As each room closes, the seal weakens, and I am one step closer to the null. Alrighty. Yeah, so that chapter was a lot shorter than the last couple that we've done. Uh, as I said, the chapters moving on from here on out will be much, much shorter. They're, they're all going to be pretty much around the same length as this episode. Chapter 6 is a little bit longer, but still nothing too bad, compared, especially compared to the likes of Chapter 2. But that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more of The Room for Old Sins. Goodbye. Thank you.